in the Motor Vehicles Act in the lower house today. That is the looks about. Remember, the Union Cabinet approved the Motor Vehicle Amendment Bill 2016 last week to address the issue of road safety and improve the process for citizens while dealing with transport departments. Ritupana Bhuya is joining in with the details. Ritu, what are the key salient features that stand out uh, for the sector? There are 83 uh, uh, plus uh, more uh, amendments. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll concentrate on two, three of them. One is uh, the uh, amendments propose a recall policy uh, through which uh, you know it proposes to empower the central government uh, to recall uh, vehicles where defects have been found. These defects can be reported by a group of uh, uh, consumers or a testing, testing agency. Now, if such a, a, a defect is reported and there is a recall, then uh, the manufacturer of that vehicle will have to either reimburse that person uh, of that uh, of, of the amount or, or equal to that vehicle or you know uh, or, or replace that vehicle with a new vehicle uh, also we uh, we have been told that uh, the amendments proposed uh, a regulatory framework for uh, taxi aggregators there is a def definition uh, for uh, taxi aggregators as well last but not the least uh, the amendments also has uh, uh, conditions through which uh, one will be able to retrofit their vehicles with new engines remember that uh, if that uh, is allowed then many Many of these vehicles, which are uh, which are 10 years uh, and more, uh, uh, will be able to retrofit their vehicles with new engines and be, a be able to, you know, up, uh, uh, conduct business. Uh, this is uh, again a new clause which is being proposed uh, in the in the uh, uh, motor vehicle amendment, uh, uh, which was uh, introduced by Nitin Gadkari in Lok Sabha today. With that, it's back to you. All right, so thanks for joining in with those details. We'll take another.